I've been researching prehistoric Southwest pottery for many decades, and the one pottery type I always come back to that you just fall in love with are the Mimbres pottery vessels, the bowls, because they illustrate life ways and mythologies and the stories and the legends of their time. And I've had the privilege, the extreme privilege, of being in the back rooms of the museums where all this stuff is stashed away. And I've examined not dozens of these vessels, but hundreds of them. And I've recorded the images. And we have everything from Coco Paley to Spider Grandmother and the Warrior Twins. And we have hundreds of them to show you, and I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hold on to your seat. Okay, this morning we're going to talk about various uh, amphibians and reptiles that are represented on Mimbre's art. Several good examples today. There's a frog. This is the kill hole, don't forget. I always remind folks of this. This is the hole punched in the bottom of the bowl. The spirit break, the kill hole, releases the spirit of the vessel. These were interred with the deceased. Uh, they placed them over the heads of the face of the deceased. And here's a very good image of frog. Here's another one. This frog's kind of in, this is kind of a, a prayer stance. You see a lot of petroglyphs with uh, anthropomorphic forms uh, with this prayer stance. A lot of frogs than we saw before. This has a grid dot pattern on it. This grid dot pattern is normally uh, corn. This petal-like pattern you often see on the edges of butterfly wings. Another grid dot frog. It's interesting. Now this is interesting. I, I see this extended eye thing quite a bit on different uh, animal forms and people too, and costumes. What's, this, this is interesting, this zigzaggy line is probably voice or song. Uh, and I'll show you some slides eventually. <laughs> I don't know which series it'll be in, but we have a lot of images where this ziggy line is, uh, where people are arguing and there'll be the zig line between their two mouths. Uh, or you'll see it in different, uh, different places where, where voice or song or, or is appropriate in the image, and that's probably uh, the frogs making sounds, croaking, singing. Here we go again now, a little bit different. Here's this bolt, this eye extension thing again, yeah, quite a bit. This isn't a frog, but I, I included that because, and the ziggy line again, we got it again. This is more of a, this is more like a horn toad. See this zigzag line? This is interesting, kind of a fish turtle thing. Yeah, here we go. Now this is a little different. You see it coming out of the mouth of the creature, and then it goes to this little cloud terrace unit. Here again, same thing. Same thing. And here's the, the terrace unit again. There's a couple of fellows chasing around the fish. It is coming out of the mouth of the fish, coming out of the mouth of the fish. It means something. It's not just whimsical. There's, there's a reason they did that. I don't know what it is. Look at a beautiful lizard depicted on the bowl. See this wavy line thing again. Very realistic in this case. Here's another one. Another nice lizard. Another one. And we have a very good horn toad. And notice the little life breath spiral in there. That's not the only meaning of spiral, there's several. A lot of our words have a lot of different meanings also. Here we go, turtles, these are fun. Checkerboard pattern, starry sky, Milky Way, pathway of the warrior twins. Look at the detail on this. Now this zigzag pattern on the neck of the turtle that's associated with fertility. That I've seen that on fertility staffs. The Mimbres images we saw today were painted between 1000 AD and 1280 AD. And if you want, there's a lot more of them, and we're going to have other uh, other videos you can see. But if you want to get a copy of the book, 
Meanberry's mythology. There's a lot of these images we're going to be showing. Uh, just email me, and the address is in the uh, description in this video. It's just kunkel uh, at hotmail.com. That's C-U-N-K-L-E. And just email me, and I'll, I'll sign a copy and make sure you get it. Thanks for watching today. Give me a like, if you like.